Um, my name is Arman Zorami and I want to talk to you about the youth and our struggle for freedom both in Iran and both in Camp Ashraf. As you are aware, the camp was subject to a brutal attack on the 28th of July by the Iraqi army under the direct orders of the Iranian regime. Their aim to close down the camp and send all the residents back to Iran. However, did this, this did not, not happen. The brave people of Camp Ashraf stood up to these thugs and demonstrated what many Iranians have been doing in Iran, and that is to stand up to this evil dictatorship of the government. Although the Iraqi army was not successful in their mission, it did not stop them from killing and injuring many innocent, unarmed civilians in the camp. They killed 11 and injured 500. Hanif Emami, 28, Fadin Zamani, 31, and Siavash Nezamol Molki, 29, were among those killed. These three young men were among millions of young Iranians currently fighting for freedom in their country and also among thousands who have died in trying to do so. Everyone has a right to a freedom of speech, the freedom to live the way they want to live, to wear what they want to wear and do what they want to do. I myself have an uncle in Ashraf. I, like many, am worried about their well-being. They are all protected persons under the fourth Geneva Convention signed by the U.S. and all the Ashraf residents in 2003. However, the U.S. has taken a blind eye to this and has not done its duty in ensuring the safety of these residents. Innocent people are dying as a result of this. <coughs> this is day 60 of hunger strikes in Ashraf and across the world, and it's reaching a critical stage. Someone somewhere has to do something to stop this. The Archbishop of Canterbury was the latest in a list of high-profile personnel who have urged the U.S. to take responsibility for the camp to prevent any more loss of life. I am one of the millions of youth in Iran and around the world that is fighting for our freedom. All we ask for is to be allowed to live in our country in peace without fear and oppression. Those are things which we take for granted in the UK as it's such a basic need. All that the Iranian youth want is a fair and democratic government. But in response, we get the horrendous scenes of violence and torture aimed at us by the government. In the recent nationwide uprising, thousands of young Iranians were rounded up and tortured. The majority of those who have been protesting in Iran are young Iranians, like me. Young Iranians are today very sensitive to the actions of the US government and the British government. They want to see if these countries are siding with the mullahs or if they are on the side of the Iranian people and their resistance movement. In particular, they are looking to see if the US will live up to its international responsibility to protect the brave people of Camp Ashraf. We young Iranians in the UK are demanding the US take action. The, regime's fear, the regime fears Iran's youth because it knows young Iranians get inspiration and courage from Ashraf and to challenge the mullahs. But we will fight until the day that we get what we deserve and I am sure one day soon we will reach our goals and be able to live in a peaceful and free Iran. Thank you.